Hi guys, it's Cheyenne. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I need to do some errands around town and the first stop on my list is Target because I need to get some Halloween decorations. Well, I wanna look at them. My front porch is pretty sad. I don't really have a lot of Halloween decorations, so I wanted to see if I can find something. So let's head inside and see what we can get. I also have my, so I used to carry around this huge purse and I recently got this tiny little bag and it's so weird because I barely can fit anything in it and my my previous purse was huge but it's so small my keys don't even fit into it. So let's see what's in my purse. We have a mirror, my cards, and my cell phone goes in here. Yeah, that's it. Purse haul. All right. Let's go inside. Oh good, they're hiring. Just in case this YouTube thing doesn't work out and I'm not a dental assistant anymore. We made it to all the Halloween stuff. They have tons of fall stuff, which I always just put out anyways, but I need to get some more of. I used to have an, obsep like an obsession with getting hand towels for everything. I would get hand towels for like every holiday, which those are actually really cute and I kind of want some. There's like this lady and she keeps like walking up behind me as I'm filming and it's so awkward, I hate it. I kind of want to get a skeleton for my front porch, but I don't know. I kind of like them. They're expensive. They're $45. $45. Hope you guys can hear me because I'm whispering because there's a lot of people shopping for Halloween today and it's awkward. Look at all the cute pumpkins. I have like a super annoying cart too that's making a bunch of weird noises. Don't you hate that? I freaking hate that so much. Ooh, these guys are cool. They're a little bit cheaper than the other skeletons. So I'm now in the candy aisle because I really need to get Halloween candy, but I didn't want to buy it already because I know I will eat it all before Halloween even gets here. But since I'm here, I do kind of want to get some. And I'm probably going to have to buy some new candy in like two weeks. So that'll be fun. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> These things always get me. So if two for five, I'm thinking it's some great deal. And then you look at regular 269. So you're saving not very much money, but that's okay. So far I have this. airheads because they're delicious. So I don't like airheads. And I need to get I need to get a chocolate one. I could get one of these for chocolates because they don't really have anything else over there. Now my hubby loves m and Oh So I think I'll get that. All right, I'm all done guys. So I'm gonna get my noisy cart and I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Okay, see you in a bit. I hope you could hear me in there. There was a ton of people and Everyone was in the Halloween aisle and there's a bunch of like 
um, people who work there that were putting stuff away so I didn't want to get in trouble for filming or them to look at me so I was being really quiet so I really hope you could hear me I ended up getting the big sign that says trick or treat on one side and then give thanks on the other and it's a reversible sign so you can use it for Thanksgiving too which I thought was really cute I do have a welcome sign like that already on my porch so I thought I could just take that off and put that up for some decor and then I got a little skull to put at the bottom of it for decoration and then I got some candy I got M&Ms because my husband loves M&Ms and then I got airheads because they're delicious and I got I think a pack that had like Swedish fish and Sour Patch Kids in it which you know what I probably shouldn't have got candy that I actually really really like because then that means I'm probably gonna eat it all but I'm gonna have faith in myself that I'm not gonna eat it all or I'm gonna try to only need to buy like one more bag that's my goal so yeah and now I'm going to go get a coffee from like my most favorite coffee place ever it's called black rock I'm sorry Dutch Brothers but black rock is delicious and whenever I'm in the next town over, which is where the Target is, I always get one because they're really, really delicious. And then I'm probably going to hit up Costco. I can try to film a little bit in Costco, but they're always super, super packed and it's really hard to film in there. So I'll try, <laughs> but I don't know how that's going to go because honestly, it's really awkward to film in public. Everyone stares at you or like looks at what you're filming and... I don't know maybe one day I'll get to the point where I don't care but right now it's kind of awkward but anyways how are you guys I hope you're having a great day I have today off work which is super exciting because I'm actually working like 60 hours this week so I work 10 hour shifts so I'm working six days but I have today off so I'm really really excited for that it's really freaking hot in my car though. I put the heat on and now I'm like boiling. This light is taking a really, really long time. But yeah, nothing really new in my life, just work. I really wanna try to do some Halloween stuff. I need to quit working so much. I really wanna go to like corn maze or do like a haunted house. There's this theater in town that's putting on like an Evil Dead musical and I really kinda wanna go to that cause I thought it'd be really fun. Um, my friend Jessica and I, which is probably watching this, hi Jessica, um, we always do like little, we've got a few like little ghost things, so I kind of want to do another like ghost tour, I don't know though, I need to figure out what I want to do, but I'm feeling the Halloween spirit, so I really need to get some more stuff. I actually think I might go to Costco first, and then get a coffee later, because it's going to be really hard to... Oop, my camera moved around when I turned that corner. It's gonna be hard to walk around Costco with a coffee and pick up my stuff. And I want my coffee to get cold. Because I don't like drinking cold coffee. Once the coffee gets cold, I'm over it. I either have to heat it up or it goes bye-bye. I don't think I'm gonna be dressing up for Halloween this year, which is kind of sad, but oh well. We got invited to kind of like a wedding reception type thing but this couple got married like six months ago but they're kind of having like a little party and it doesn't say that costumes that people can wear costumes so I don't know if we can or not but I was thinking about asking them my hand looks huge in this angle <laughs> like what is that it looks so creepy okay anyways so yeah I don't think I'm dressing up so I'm really sad about that but because I love to dress up. It's so much fun. But yeah. What are you guys dressing up as? Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what the costume is. Let me know if you want to see me try to recreate any costume looks. I am going to be filming a couple tutorials. You know, I'm not a makeup artist, but I've done a couple in the past that were kind of cool, so I thought I would do those. I'm hoping that Costco maybe will have some cute decorations. If not, I just need to get boring groceries. I need to get some LaCroix, some water, you know, some snacks. And nothing too exciting. My friend's son is turning one.
friend this month and I'm going to be going to his birthday party and so I need to find him a gift. So maybe they'll have something. I looked at Target but there was nothing. They didn't have like hardly any sizes and they had a ton of baby girl clothes but no baby boy clothes. Which I think is a shame. Like why can't, why can't there be even amounts, you know? There is like huge amounts of girl clothes but no boy clothes. Not every girl or not every baby is a girl, okay? The boys need some clothes too. But yeah, there was this older lady in Target and she like every aisle I went down, she would go down. And I don't know if she was like trying to figure out like what I was filming or... Oops, sorry guys. My camera just went crazy. I don't know if she was trying to figure out like what I was filming or what, but she was like following me down every aisle and it was so awkward. Who knows, but yeah. All right, I'm getting ready to pull into Costco, so I will see you guys in there, hopefully. Hopefully it's not too crazy, which Costco usually is pretty crazy, but I'll try to film some stuff. All right. All right guys, Costco is popping as usual, so I'll try to show you guys a few things. Because it is super, super busy. Costco actually doesn't have a lot of Halloween stuff out. They just have tons of Christmas. Like tons of Christmas stuff. They had some Halloween candy, but that was about it. I don't know what it is about Costco, but like everybody stands like in the middle of the aisle and there's always that one guy that's standing in everybody's way. I've like wanted one of these rugs forever, but they're a hundred dollars. They're so soft. I want one. So Costco was popping as usual. Um, I they actually opened at 10 a.m. I got there about 10:15, and it was super crowded. But I was really shocked. They really didn't have hardly any Halloween stuff or like fall stuff. It was all Christmas, like Christmas trees and Christmas decor and all that kind of stuff, like Christmas gift sets. And yeah, I was like, what the heck? Where's all the Halloween stuff, Costco? But that's all right. I got what I needed. I got some groceries. Um, I don't know if you've ever been to Costco, but they have that like yummy macaroni and cheese that you can bake at your house. So I got that for dinner tonight. And I also got like a rotisserie chicken to have with it. So I'm excited for the mac and cheese and the chicken. So yeah, that's gonna be delicious. So now I'm gonna go get my coffee and then I'm gonna head home. I got about a 30 minute drive. So I'm just gonna listen to a podcast, my favorite podcast um, that I listen to quite often is I love Heidi and Spencer Pratt's podcast. I listen to them all the time. I think Spencer Pratt is so hilarious. And then I listen to The Juicy Scoop with Heather McDonald. That's a really good one. I recently found this new one called, I think it's called Dirty Little Secrets. I've only listened to a couple episodes, but about it's this guy that he gets secrets or secrets from people and then he interviews them or like talks to them about their secret. And it's like secrets like, um, you know, I slept with my basketball coach in high school or for the past six years, I have been meeting my um, ex-boyfriend every six months, like at this certain hotel and we're having an affair, like all these crazy things. And he talks to them about stuff and it's pretty interesting. And then I do like views with um, Jason Nash and David Dobrik. They're pretty funny. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do guys. I hate the awkward like conversations they try to have with you though, but. That's at Dutch Brothers too. That's like every coffee stand. Like they're trying to be nice. Which they are. They're very, very nice. And I appreciate them being nice. But, you know, sometimes it's kind of awkward. Like I don't want to. Especially Dutch Brothers. Because they'll be like, 
they have like music blaring, like the vibe. If you've been Dutch Brothers, the vibe is like, oh, it's my time to order. Good morning, what can I get started for you? Hi, can I just get a medium hot caramel blondie, half sweet? Medium hot caramel blondie, half sweet, you got it. Thank you. Yeah, it'll be 435 at the window. All right, thanks. thanks. Um, but yeah, Dutch Brothers, their vibe is like, they're super nice and like upbeat and they have this very loud music playing and they'll be trying to have a conversation with you and they can't hear a word that you're saying so they can't hear anything that you're telling them like they'll be like so what are you doing today and I already feel awkward so then I'm telling them what I'm doing today and then like two seconds later she's like what what was that and it's like okay I get you guys are trying to be nice but if you can't hear me then don't try to like talk to me it's just awkward hope this guy doesn't see my camera he might Maybe I'll move it a little bit. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I get my drinks half sweet because I like the taste of coffee. Coffee's delicious. It's really, really good. It's my addiction. I have coffee every single day of my life. Every day. It's every day, bro. You know what I'm saying? but it's everyday Joe. Yeah. I just did that. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. It's everyday Joe. It's everyday Joe. All right, here we go. I got stop. Hey, Hi. How good, how are you? Doing pretty good. Just 435. Alrighty. Thank How's you. How's the day treating you so far? Oh, pretty good. How's your day? Can't complain. Okay. Just working away. Yeah. Thank you. Are. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Got my Joe. Got my coffee. All right. Now I need to go listen to my podcast and drive home to show you guys my Halloween decorations um it's pretty sad but I have this little pumpkin in my planter and I have this little ghost here I've had him forever and I think he's so cute but there he is and then I have this little skeleton that I've had for a couple years now and then my cool sign that I got at Target which I'm actually in love with and then the little skull and then just a little pumpkin that I've had but yeah, that's it. But yeah, that's all my decorations. It's still kind of sad. So I totally forgot that we just got a Hobby Lobby. So maybe I'll go there and try to find some more. But that'll probably be another day. Because I have other stuff I need to do today. But isn't it beautiful out today? Like, it's amazing here. It's gorge. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. And thanks for watching. Bye! Also, I've already had two pieces of candy, so this probably isn't going to last long. So, probably shouldn't have bought candy, but alright, bye!